Silver prices having a very nice time. The breakout we discussed last week is working out really good. And we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk a bit about um, gold prices in today's market update. As always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. It's really important. There's also a little bell button that gives you a notification when I publish the next market update. That's key if you want to keep track of what I'm up to because I don't have a regular posting uh, uh, scheme or like program I, sh I use. I just publish things as things happen. Um, this is silver prices. As you might remember, I was bearish on silver prices, but I also did highlight the, the bullish break to the upside. And what's quite interesting is if you, if you follow currencies, you could see similar patterns in GBP USD, which is the pound against the dollar. Also, Euro USD was also bullish. Overall, as well, stock markets were bullish. So everything is just going upwards. And you had a nice little break here. Could have traded. We had a break here on, on Friday and we pushed up higher. And the reason for turning bullish on this point is because we're dealing with an ascending triangle. The difference between high and low gives you a target uh, of, um, if, you, if you take the difference between these two levels, add them here, it tells you we can go up with about 8.88%. Uh, so up to 26,071. Uh, 26, uh, and we're on, on our way towards that target. Now, if you're looking at this now today, you know, it might be tempting to get involved. We did bounce from these two levels. And you know what? That might hold. I was looking at this earlier and I said to myself, that might hold. However, it's not like an optimal buy level. The optimal buy level was to get involved down here on the breakup point from 124.51. And I think if we do revisit that level, uh, I'd be happy to be bullish. Now, I might be wrong. It might be trading sideways and just don't do nothing and then fill, uh, form a, a base here. Then what we'll do tomorrow, or what I would have done is I would actually just push up the buy spot if possible if it looks like this is going to be the new dominant low. But for now, I'm looking for that pullback and I do think people are going to try to trade this to the upside. So for how long are you going to keep it though? You can keep it all the way towards target. That's one idea. Normally though, I prefer to get out before target uh, and when I have a nice decent profit really, good reward ratio. And I think the 26 level, which are these resistance levels, that could be a good push. So if the market goes a bit crazy and quickly reaches that level, then that, that's where I would have been uh, going out. Uh, if we talk a bit about gold, so these are gold prices. And you can see here that gold prices have now turned bullish. So I was bearish uh, and that view got stopped out. And um, it's nothing we can do about that. And now we're looking for this to head up higher. So we're creating lower and higher and lower lows. And that's that's great. Sorry. <laughs> uh, higher lows, that's what we're creating. And uh, yeah, so we have a bit of an uptrend. We can go a little bit higher, maybe to uh, 19,000. Uh, no, sorry, uh, 1,957. Um, but I wouldn't be buying here. Uh, I would buy on a dip as well. It's not a particularly strong uh, pattern or trend you're having that push you still have the election coming up so i wouldn't get too excited whereas in the case of uh silver there's more sort of that there's a clear level here like we wish we went really quickly through here so there's not much stopping price here the first serious levels in and silver prices are up here at 27.62 so that's why i'm actually more happy to be long silver personally i did trade the nasdaq 100 and we had a similar breakout here, we actually bought here, got out for about a three times reward ratio, got out earlier to this morning, and I'm just waiting for a pullback here. If you wanna know more about the NASDAQ 100, the German DAX and all these indices, head over and check out the other videos on the ATFX uh, YouTube channel. Again, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys uh, for the next market update. Have a great day and a good trading week. Thank you and bye-bye.